Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for seeing to another episode of the Morty Mow. I'm Jay, and today we're gonna be mowing down this super long, overgrown yard. So as you can probably tell, the uh, yard is definitely overgrown. It's been a little over a week since I mowed last. We've had a ton of rain over the last week. So the yard is behaving accordingly and growing super fast. We're still in the spring flush, so the grass will be growing faster than it normally does any other time of the year. So it's not uncommon to have to mow maybe two or three times a week, but I wasn't able to do that this week due to the weather conditions. So now I gotta play a little bit of catch up. Um, I might be able to mulch this, but it's pretty long, so I wouldn't be surprised if I end up having a side discharge and doing a double cut. So uh, first things first, we're gonna go around with the weed whacker and the edger and get all the edges and uh, property lines taken care of first. So after going through and weed whacking and trimming around the property lines and whatnot, I think this grass is going to be too wet to do any kind of mulching with, so I'm pretty much going to have to side discharge this. I might double cut it, I might not. Um, kind of see how it goes, I'll kind of go by feel on this one. But from what I can tell from right now, we're going to have to side discharge this, so hopefully you guys enjoy a couple shots of side discharging. So I would say side discharge is working pretty well. I'm probably gonna have to go over this a second time. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but uh, I got a bunch of clippings on the side over here. I mean, that's to be expected when you're side discharging. It's not gonna have a nice fine cut like you get when you mulch, but this is way too wet to even try to mulch. I'm glad I side discharged this and I'd be scraping the bottom of my deck for probably hours trying to clean this all out. My irrigation cycle ran this morning, so that's kind of on me. I probably should have turned it off last night since I knew I was gonna mow this morning, but I mean, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and do the other side now. gonna do it for going vertical um, like I said with all the clippings that we got we're gonna have to probably go horizontal and uh, clean this up a little bit property lines nice and straight so uh, yeah we went this way first time now we're probably gonna go this way so let's see how that goes So doing that double cut definitely was the move. Uh, I got all the little scrap pieces up that were a little long. So uh, this side's all done. I mean, you can tell by the stripes, man. It's striped pretty good. The sun's not really out and it's still, I mean, look how dark that is. Hell yeah, all right, next side.
so that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to do the front just for today, and then tomorrow I'll do the back. I mean, look at the stripes on this, man. Like I said, it can't get much better than this. This is all from a DIY home stripe kit that I made. Uh, it cost me less than $30 in materials, and I think I got some pretty uh, professional results here. I mean, I'm allowed to speak for itself. So, ignore some of the debris you might see in the on the grass over here. I uh, cleaned up out here on the sidewalk or in the uh, street trying to get my clippings back in. A lot of people don't do that. Some people just blow directly in the street, but uh, I'm trying to do my part and keep this place looking nice and you know, at least put my clippings back into the yard. So here you can kind of see the difference between mine and my neighbors as far as color. Um, again, this is the uh, Lesco Kansas Excalibur blend. Um, it's pretty affordable price bag of a 50 pound bag of grass seed so if you have a side one near you i recommend checking out what they might have that would be suitable for your area i mean it's dark green it's healthy looks good um i've only done one fertilizer application for the year i'm gonna be doing another one here relatively soon i think we're trying to do it in the uh lesco i think it's 1200 the chelated iron and nitrogen maybe with some uh, humic acid and maybe some molasses just to get it down I do also need to spray for some bugs around here. We've been noticing uh, fleas and whatnot around the house. So uh, that's going to be probably in the next video. <sighs> Try to ignore these. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that? What's that, brother? That's going to be getting take, uh, taken care of here pretty soon when I do these uh, mulch rings. That should be in the next you know, couple weeks or whatnot. Say what's up, Tom. Here's the other side. Came out just as well. This is uh, looking the opposite direction from the other uh, stripes you'd seen. So, yep, like I said, just ignoring any debris in here. That's just for me blowing the clippings back in with some of the leaves that are around. And then uh, that's kind of what's going to be to come in the next video. I kind of tried it out over here first. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm going to try and enjoy mine and have me some breakfast. So uh, you guys take care. I'll see you on the next one. See you.